freaking uh, calisthenic fans, or more particularly uh, the guys that are into calisthenics, and like, nah, bro, bro, all you need to do is calisthenics. That's it. Uh, what's the main argument? Uh, it, it's functional. It's the most functional. You know, where in real life are you going to grab a barbell? Well, let's think about it. What are the injuries that are, happen most of the time in the United States of America? What is the lower back? It's the hips, right? And then so my deal would be like, well, we would strengthen those then if we care about mobility or functionality. And uh, that's RDLs, that's deadlift, that's uh, a lot of hip hinging. Uh, what kind of calisthenic movement is there that can be f like f uh, loaded to an extent to where progressive overload can happen? Where, where is that in, in the calisthenics world? Uh, you know, I, I guess, uh, yeah, there are exercises where the, the, the anterior and the psoas muscles can be developed, but that's not until someone has already been months, if not years, into calisthenics and has already developed that and then are able to do those exercises in the first place. So then it's like, fucking Christ, you know, or we can just get the barbell and, and, and bend over right and then develop that no like actually uh, the calisthenics world is very infamous for not having that many great movements for the lower body so then as far as mobility is concerned it's like you know they're not, that, that's that's silly and whatnot you know and no nah, I feel like mobility is one of the, another one of those buzzwords like like health is you know it, it, it's a cope mobility and health is a cope no one is in the gym to be more healthy to be more mobile because like I said people would be doing a lot more hip hinging because those are the top injuries that happen in the United States of America nobody fucking does that shit anytime like anyone sees my uh, footage of me doing like snatch RDLs and shit like what the fuck is that what the fuck are you doing they, they act like they're like, like it's the most alien thing they've ever seen. And it's like it's an RDL but with a wider grip. You fucking faggot. And they're like, oh, well, I don't fucking know. That looks fucking stupid. It's like, no, maybe your fucking mind stays stupid. It's the, it's the same cope that health is. See, health is also a cope. Because uh, people, when they go into the gym and they say, I'm here for health, that's automatically admitting defeat because then they're like they're not uh, sure of themselves and they're not sure that they will uh, get muscle that they will get strong because they understand that they have to be here consecutively they have to be here uh, three times a week at the very minimum to get uh, for a span of months and years to get any kind of benefit and so since they already know they already have foresight like well I'm probably not even going to be doing that at the very least they can achieve uh, points on the health bar because we, we all know that right we we just uh, turn on our pokedex and then we look on the jinx and things uh, Pokemon and then we see oh look my health bar went up because I I, I, I inserted a, a, a gym unit right you fucking retard same you know and it's like oh that's another thing too oh why is calisthenics so uh, 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 popular with these little <laughs> boys and shit uh, probably because they're already look shredded they already are 50% body fat and then so it's like uh, they, they don't necessarily want to be like oh I lift weights because they don't lift weights but anybody can do a pull up and then say they did a pull up and boom bam bam all of, all of a sudden they're a calisthenics warrior it's like it's so easy to claim calisthenics maybe that's why the fan base is just so fucking lukewarm and milk toast and fucking shatter and and all this dog shit you know and that's what i hate man it's 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 like the the, the health world doesn't need a 15 percent body fat man uh giving advice it's like no we don't we don't need that it's like hey look if uh someone's hobby is freaking uh moving around and lifting weights then by all means, you know, go ahead, talk about it, blog about it, freaking write about it, and this and that. But then for a person to go out of their way and give advice to these 30% body fat chunk, big chunguses, it's like, that that's where I'm lost. It's like, well, what do they know anything about like that? It's like, bro, it's fucking easy. Just, just eat less and move more. 
The thing about the calisthenics bar though is it's like uh, they, they, they like the pump. They like the pump that they get from the calisthenics and whatnot. They can do the push-ups and all kinds of variations and do pull-ups and then boom, oof. It's like the arms get pumped, the chest, the back, everything gets just pumped and the, and the lines and the, and the muscles pop out and stuff. Fat boys, look fat boy, fucking Christ. You could be, you, <laughs> they could probably live for years and, and we'd never get a pump. Facts. Especially if uh, you know we're not watching what we're eating and try, at least trying to be in a deficit or freaking something, you know, it could be years, it could be months before we ever get like a little line or a pump or a, or any kind of like a delt and arm separation or anything. So for these little like little fuck boys that are like ha 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 yeah bro hey, fucking shit you know what I'm saying I just did a motherfucker push you right quick and it's like damn uh you see that motherfucker tricep shit see it's, it's like growing around a motherfucker front me, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, because they probably saw one of those fucking uh, videos where those shirtless men are like, "All right, bud, hey, what's up, Cole? Hey, look out, man. Hey, we about to do the chest, and we about to do a motherfucker uh shoulder. So, motherfucker uh, we're gonna do uh like uh motherfucker uh push up. We're gonna do push up right quick. All right, uh, one, uh, two, uh. And they were like, "Yeah, I fucking like that." I like that so much. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Do the fucking calisthenics. Oh man, I'm gonna get so swollen jack just by doing calisthenics. I don't gotta do shit. I don't gotta leave my room. I don't gotta do anything. I don't gotta get a gym membership. I don't gotta go fucking see people. I don't gotta spend uh, $800 on a fucking squat rack. I can just fucking do calisthenics just like these motherfucking people. Silly geese. And then another thing about uh, calisthenics is progression. I never really understood it, you know, because it's like, okay, cool. You know, say I do a set of pull ups, all right? If I wait five minutes, I can just keep fucking doing pull-ups. I wait another five minutes, it's like I could sit here all fucking day and do pull-ups. All fucking day here and do push-ups. How can I track progression like that? Whereas with a bench press, I can do five, I can do a bench press twice a week, four to six sets, uh, eight to twelve reps, or, or six to ten, whatever the frick. And then once I master that weight, I can add five pounds. It's pretty fucking simple, right? But with push-ups, it's like, when does it fucking stop? When do I feel like, okay, what? Do I, uh, is, is, does push-ups work the same way as bench press? It's like, uh, you know, just, 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 uh, do a set, wait two minutes and do my set, and then that's it. But then I already know in my heart that if I wait, like, five more minutes, I can just do this shit all over again. Whereas with a bench press, it doesn't really work that way, you know? But... Oh, well, what the frick do I know, you know? It, it, it's, just, it's just all these uh, young, sick, uh, skinny chads that I'm freaking jealous of that, you know, they didn't have to put any effort. They didn't have to learn fucking shit. They can just uh, go around and fucking believe this kind of dog shit. It's like, it's like look, I want to believe that just doing a fucking sit-up, a push-up, and a fucking pull-up is, is, is going to give me the, the body of my desires. I want that shit. I want to believe that's fucking true. Or then I wouldn't have had to go and spend all this money on fucking equipment and shit. But you know what? Like, for me... It didn't fucking work. And for a lot of other fucking people, it also didn't work, fucking work. Go look at any fucking Mr. Olympia or look at any kind of fucking strength athlete or any fucking strength, strength, strength and conditioning coach. What are they going to say? Oh, just do pull-ups and push-ups. Fuck no. They'll say, hey, it's a good supplement. It's a good accessory. It's a good movement. But they're not going to base a, a whole fucking program off of that fucking shit. Maybe all you needed was to be born 50% body fat in the fucking first place, so any fucking movement that you did in the fucking first place fucking worked. I don't know. Maybe kill yourself and try fucking waking up and fucking be 50% body fat so we don't have to give a fuck about this dumb shit, right?